Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. This time I will be playing the brand new hero, Quicksilver, with the pre-built deck. And I will be playing against Taskmaster on standard difficulty. Quicksilver's pre-built deck is a protection deck, so we are seeing a lot of new protection cards. I won't go into detail on the deck, so if you are interested to see what's in the deck, check out my uh, Quicksilver Hero Pack Focus video. Uh, other than that, uh, there's not much to say. We are playing on standard difficulty, so this shouldn't be that big of a challenge, but a new deck always is nice to play against not too difficult of a challenge, so that you can learn the uh, mechanics of the new hero. So let's get started. I have pre-shuffled the decks, so let's draw our opening hand of 6 cards. And we get always be running, Adrenal, uh, Adrenaline Rush, never back down, Accelerated uh, Reflexes, another always be running and sidestep. I think these uh, three are not that necessary right at the start, so I'll mulligan those. Uh, we get Genius, Nurse of Steel and Hyper Perception. So now uh, we could use Pietro Maximov's own ability to discard two cards, to draw two cards, but I think this is an okay hand to start with. So, uh, I think I will be using the Genius to play down uh, Accelerated... No, I'll, I'll put down the Hyper Perception. And uh, then we'll flip. So, this turn... Well, I think I'll use one of the always be running and the nerves of steel to also put down the accelerated uh, reflexes. And uh, we'll keep this one always be running in hand. Uh, first thing we'll do is to... Uh, we have a thwart plus one, so thwart of two. We'll thwart for two here. We get uh, rid of the Hydra Patrol. Then we'll use Quicksilver's own ability. After you use one of Quicksilver's basic powers, ready him. So we ready Quicksilver, and then I think we'll just uh, uh, walk for one here or two, but there's only one threat there. Oh yeah, and before all of that, uh, I always tend to forget this, so when we flip to hero version, we flip one card from here, and we'll take one damage. Okay, and uh, that is our hero turn. We ready up everything, and yeah, uh, before that we hit for one. No, <laughs> I worth it. So yeah, I'm I'm getting dizzy with all of this exhaustion apparently. So we ready up. Uh, we draw back up to five. We get the maximum velocity, always be running, uh, nerves of steel times two, and always be running. We start the villain phase, uh, we add one threat, and then we add another threat because I don't want to take the damage. Uh, Taskmaster attacks, Quicksilver defends. Uh, we'll take three damage, but uh, we have a defense of two, so we only take one damage. Then. Uh, because we use the defense, we get to ready Quicksilver. So that is the villain attack. We get an encounter card and it is a hide regular. So we get one threat from the inside one. But that's the... Uh, yeah, that's the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. 
I think this turn will use both of the nerves of steel to play maximum velocity. So now we have a defense of three, attack of uh, defense of four, attack of uh, three, and ward of four. So first thing we do is ward for three. Then we're ready. Then we'll hit for uh, three. And I'll play one of the always be runnings. And hit for four. And that is our turn. So we're ready up. We draw back up to five. We get strength, adrenaline, rush, always be running multiple man and civic duty and uh, maximum velocity is until the end of the round so we still have a defense of four so we add a threat and another threat from the forced response here so we don't take the damage then uh, i'll defend so two plus two is four so we take no damage already we get an encounter card and it is gang up so i think we yeah i think we'll uh, defend because we have a always be running in hand so we take no damage from that and that is the villain phase let's go to the next hero phase I'll start by uh, playing the. Uh, we don't have enough to play the always be running, but I want to play the multiple man. So I'll use strength, civic duty, and adrenaline rush. Then, response after multiple man enters play, search your deck and hand for a copy of multiple man and put it into play. Shuffle your deck. If it was searched this way so we get one and then this triggers and we get another one so now we have three multiple months in play then i'll just keep the always be running in hand for next turn the multiple months all uh, hit for one damage so three damage And that is our turn. We ready up. We draw back up to four. Uh, we draw back up to five. So we take four cards. We get order and chaos. Never back down. Speed cyclone. Uh, several industries and have the always be running. We add a couple of threats here. Taskmaster attacks. I'll defend with multiple man. So multiple man takes five damage, so it's defeated. Then we get an encounter card and it is another attack. I think I'll defend for this this one. So uh, two plus one is three. So uh, we'll take one damage, but I'll actually use the Order and Chaos to play Never Back Down. Uh, I think... Okay, I think I was late with the timing, but <laughs> let's play that I played this. So, uh, we take no damage and we can ready. And also Taskmaster is stunned from the Never Back Down. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, we really don't have any any good attack cards in, in hand. So I think I'll just play down this uh, set of well, industries. I'll keep the always be running in hand. Then I'll vote for two. Ready and vote for two. And that's our turn. I'll keep the multiple mans. Uh, unused so I can defend with them 
we'll get armor quests, Scarlet Witch, Adrenaline Rush, Energy and always be running. We add a couple of threat here. Taskmaster is stunned, so we remove the stun. The encounter card is captured by Hydra. Okay, well, uh, this is actually a good thing because we have a good sword, so we can uh, get an ally for free next turn. So we shuffle up these um, captives and hero for hires and see which one we'll get next turn when we get the captured by Hydra defeated. So let's put this here and set the rest back aside. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. I think this turn will just fought for two here. Then ready, fought for two here. And uh, I'll actually use one of the multiple mans to forge this. So this is defeated, this gets removed from the game, just put it over here, and this gets removed, and let's see what we get. So we get the Moon Knight, um, could play Moon Knight and discard one uh, resource, uh, wild resource, so we could draw two cards. I think. We are not doing that, we just play Moon Knight and I'll vote for two with Moon Knight because I want to play uh, Scarlet Witch. I'll use Adrenaline Rush and Energy. Actually, let's not. Uh, yeah, let's save the. I'll use the Armor Quest rather. So we'll save the Adrenaline Rush. And uh, I think we'll try our luck with Scarlet Witch, so I'll attack. So we reveal the top card of the encounter deck. It has two boost icons, so we deal three damage. And that is our turn, we're ready up. We draw back up to 5, so we get maximum velocity, armor vest, warlock, we have the adrenaline rush and always be running. So we go to the villain phase, we add a couple of threat here, because we have a really good sword ability. Uh, it's a good idea to take the damage rather than uh, just add one extra threat and you can get rid of it easily. Uh, Taskmaster attacks, I'll just defend with multiple men. So multiple men is defeated. Then we get an encounter card and it's an assault, so quick silver defense. Uh, 2 plus 2 is 4 and we have a defense of uh, two, so we'll take two damage, and then we're ready. And uh, I think that's that turn, so we'll go to the next hero phase. So this turn, we have a really big turn coming. Uh, we can play maximum velocity. So I'll use armor, vest and warlock to play maximum velocity. I'll start by hitting with Quicksilver for 3 damage, we go to phase 2, then uh, we deal 1 encounter card, are we ready? We'll hit for 3 damage again. 
I'll play always be running and we'll hit for 3 damage again then moon knight will hit for 2 damage and scarlet witch will hit for 1 plus 2 so 3 damage so uh, we are down to 5 hit points on uh, Taskmaster, which is pretty bursty with Quicksilver. Uh, we ready up, we draw back up to 5. And notice that I haven't gone to Alter Ego the whole game. Uh, Quicksilver in protection seems to be quite uh, decent at not taking too much damage. And uh, the ability to ready once each phase is really strong, so you can uh, ready in the hero phase and then ready in the villain phase, so you can always defend and ready, which is really strong. So we get uh, civic duty, sidestep, double time, friction resistance and sidestep. So we go to the villain phase. We'll add a couple of threats here. Uh, Taskmaster attacks, Quicksilver defends, and uh, we'll take two damage. But I'll play the sidestep. I don't have a, a energy resource, so we'll just uh, won't take any damage. And that is that. So we get two encounter cards. Oh yeah, we're ready. Uh, first one is. Hunted by Hydra, inside one. When revealed, each player in the hero form takes one damage and discards one card at random from their hand. So we lose the friction resistance. Then uh, we'll take the one damage. And the second one is advance. So two plus one is three. So we add three more threats here. And that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So first thing we do is to play... Yeah, let's just play the civic duty really doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, Scarlet Witch uh, hits for 1, plus 1 is 2. Gets defeated. Then Moon Knight hits for 2. And Quicksilver finishes uh, Taskmaster off and readies. And that's uh, Taskmaster on standard difficulty done with Quicksilver uh, pre-built protection deck. I really like the way Quicksilver plays. There's a lot of fast action when playing Quicksilver, which is maybe the intent because he is the fastest man alive, at least in the Marvel Universe. So what do you think about Quicksilver? Uh, Hope you have a chance already to play Quicksilver and have gotten a Quicksilver hero pack from your local uh, retailer or from a pre-order. I'm not sure uh, which uh, aspect I will be trying first when I start uh, deck building for Quicksilver. I really like the protection aspect as a whole and the uh, pre-built deck needs some fine-tuning, of course, for me to uh, move into Expert or even Heroic with Quicksilver, but I can see Quicksilver doing quite well in some Heroic scenarios, but we'll see. For me, uh, this is much more enjoyable to play than Wasp, and I also liked Wasp, but this is just, just so fun to play, and I'm really waiting to see what uh, Scarlet Witch brings because I'm, I was originally way more excited about 
Scarlet Witch, but now that I have had a chance to play Quicksilver, I'm really liking this hero. So, again, thanks for watching, and until next time.